I learned some really interesting things about your just physical acumen and your climbing. So talk about this hobby of yours and some of the incredible places that you've gone. Grew up <clears throat> outdoors with the family, hiking, backpacking, climbing. My older brother and I in high school, this is in the 70s, we were the first wave in Yosemite Park, climbing the walls before they were all Oh boy. Sport, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad so. you all are both here to tell your tales. Um, so that just led to more and more climbing. Uh, Dan and I, older brother, did some uh, mountain climbing in Nepal. I got over 20,000 feet just behind Everest. And then this last July, we just finished Kilimanjaro. And we do all kinds of hikes through the mountains. We did the Alps four years ago, 110 miles around uh, the Mount Blanc. Massive, fantastic. Every morning you wake up in the Alps. That's it's so crazy. incredible. So love, love hiking. Live in the pack Northwest now, so it's in my backyard every every day. And you have another interesting hobby that people may not know about you that includes heights as well. <laughs> includes, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm a pilot. Okay. Owned planes for years. Used to, I had a life before insurance. It was aviation. We owned flight schools and had planes. That's really interesting. Yeah. <laughs> as much as I know you work, I'm like, I don't know how you have time for all of this, but. I guess you just make time for the things you do that it, you yeah. love. Well, and you know, a lot of those things, hiking and, and the horn, it's escape from your mental constant on the game. You're on the side of a mountain, you're not thinking about anything but that. <laughs> when you're flying a plane, you're thinking about that. So it's true. It, 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 you know, it's a nice, it's meditation at the end of the day. It's really meditation.